Good day everyone. Welcome to Teacher Julie channel. Hello everyone. We have our new lesson in Science 7 which is all about the cell division. This will be the second quarter topic and learning competency number 5. This lesson is under the Matatag curriculum. For the objectives, by the end of the lesson, 80% of the learners will be able to First is to define what is mitosis and meiosis. The second one is to demonstrate the concept of cell division through the use of manipulatives or physical models. And the third one is to appreciate the cell division to create a physical representation of a cell undergoing division. In activating prior knowledge, the teacher will present the picture and let the students answer the process. In establishing purpose of the lesson for unlocking content vocabulary, so the teacher will use the match type activity. What is cell division? Cell division is a process by which a parent cell divides to form two or more daughter cells. The following are the importance of cell division in living organisms. The growth and development, repair and regeneration, and reproduction. There are two main types of cell division, the mitosis and the meiosis. Mitosis, these are the process of cell division that produces two genetically identical daughter cells. Whereas meiosis, it is the process of cell division that produces four genetically distinct daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. Mitosis is the process of cell division that produces two genetically identical daughter cells. The purpose of this is that mitosis is responsible for growth, repair, and sexual reproduction in multicellular organisms. Meiosis, on the other hand, is the process of cell division that produces four genetically distinct daughter cells, each with half the number of chromosomes as the parent cell. The purpose of this is that meiosis is the specialized cell division that occurs during the sexual reproduction, generating the gametes such as the sperm and the egg cells. Comparing the mitosis and the meiosis when it comes to the number of daughter cells produced. For the mitosis, it produces two genetically identical daughter cells, whereas meiosis produces four genetically distinct daughter cells. Comparing mitosis and meiosis when it comes to chromosome number in daughter cells. For the mitosis, daughter cells have the same diploid chromosome number as the parent cell, whereas the meiosis, the daughter cells have a haploid chromosome number or half the number of the parent cell. 
in developing and deepening of understanding, the students will work on the work example on modeling cell division. In making generalization for the learner's takeaway, so the students will answer the key WL chart. So using the graphic organizer, the students will answer the L column or what they have learned about the given term. And for the reflection on learning, the students will answer the guided question. 